UL Monroe is 1-0 after getting a win in week one, where our offense picked up where they left off and our defense seemed much improved after a rough year one. Our senior wide receiver Nana Davis had a phenomenal game with 258 yards and gained national recognition with the Player of the Week award. But now we're going on the road to face Alabama. My original plan was to do two games in this video, Alabama and UAB, but this Alabama game was just something I could not put you guys through. It was an absolute blowout and Bama showed no remorse whatsoever. They could have pulled the starters at halftime, but they stayed in the whole game while ours were out by the end of the third. Their running backs had their way with our defense and it didn't matter who was running the ball, it was going to go for 9 plus yards. Our defense is going to struggle against the teams that can run the ball, so I feel like we need to bolster the front seven through recruiting, so with the coach points earned after the game, I upgraded the recruiting tree to help with that situation. At the top of the board, we have a three-star field general middle linebacker. He's exactly what I'm looking for with 84 tackling with some speed to go with it. And also losing three of the only four defensive tackles we have, so I've got a few on the board. Another three-star Jim Holiday isn't the ideal player I look for in defensive tackle, but he has some things to like. We are also losing our top receiver, so I need to scout some, and Jeremy Bouchard has dynamic speed at 98, but everything else with him is very raw, so I do think I need to keep looking around. Only four-star on the board is a Jim tight end athlete. If we brought him in, I think he'd start as a true freshman. I think I need to increase his points. It's just kind of hard with only 300 points. But it's time to talk about UAB. We're going to show highlights of that game and then get into a full game against Troy. UAB is 1-0 and they're lower rated than us, but I'd honestly say they seem to have a more talented roster than us. Like this 83 overall cornerback, Tyreek Watson. He's got blazing speed with 99 and he's going to be an issue. Not going to have anyone run by him, so we're going to have to game plan for that. First play we're going to see is going to go to Hunter Smith on a second down. He's going to convert this one though. Picking up a nice first down. Later on this possession, it's fourth down and nine. Booty dropped him back pretty far, but got this one complete to Destin Hill, the transfer. And now on this play, he's going to get this one complete to Tyler Griffin. He will get the first score of the day against UAB. And we go up seven to nothing. Now a third down and 12. This is Trace Campbell. And he's going to get it complete to Jacobs. Brought down by Jiren Esther. Fourth down now, they have to punt it away. That one could have been blocked. Defender didn't jump. But Nana Davis is the return man. He's gonna bust this one out right side and no one is on that side of the field. Nana Davis will go in untouched for the punt return touchdown after a year of not having any kick return touchdowns or a run back more than 20 plus yards. It's 14 to zero now. Third down and 13. Booty will get this one right side for Destin Hill. Good throw and catch. Safety couldn't make a play on it. That ball was right where it needed to be. Booty dropping back, looking for Hill again on this throw. He's got it. And that's another touchdown. ULM up big in this one to start this game. 21 to zero in the second quarter. With possession back. They've got a chance to go up by four scores. Booty taking a shot for Quad Harrison, but this will be intercepted. Chris Bracey gets it back to their offense, and now the offense is in the red zone, handing it off to Jacobs, and he will walk into the end zone, putting UAB on the board today. Now down by 14. Booty's got this one, but he'll hand it off to Galloway. And that's a good run by the running back. A gain of eight. Now third down and two. Booty drifting to his right and had pressure in his face. Threw it on the run off target. Looking for Galloway. And the coach wants to keep the offense out there. Quick pass for Davis and this will be incomplete. Big hit. Knocked it free. Now Trace Campbell's got this one complete. That's a good gain by Iverson Hooks. That one could have been intercepted by Rodgers. Unable to get a hand on it, though. And now this will be caught by the tight end and down at the one. That's Jack Nickel on the big game. And this will be caught for the touchdown. So now only down by one score. Cam Shanks cutting into this lead again for UAB. 
And now Booty missing his receiver on third down. Destin Hill was open. So out comes the walk-on kicker for his first attempt of the day. And he will get it. Running out of steam there at the end of the kick. Doesn't have very good kick power. Booty's got this one complete to Davis. And he tries to run away from that linebacker, it looks like. Or maybe it was a safety. But Nana Davis, good catch and run. Second down and six. Now handing it off to Galloway. He's going to outrun some players and tries to hit a spin move. Takes that man's ankles. It's second down and ten. They'll fake it to Galloway on this RPO and gets it out to Tyler Griffin, who tries to do a little shifty move right there. Gets a couple of extra yards. And General Booty's been spreading this ball around all day. Tyler Griffin only has four targets so far. He had that last catch. I kind of want to get him more involved. He's the number one guy on this team. But on this one, Galloway's going to break away with that 92 speed and go into the end zone untouched. Extending that lead a little bit more now. It's 31 to 17. 11 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Campbell's going to fake this one on the play action and get this one to his receiver at the 50 yard line. They're at midfield now, and their quarterback is over 300 yards now. Isaiah Jacobs, he's only got 84 speed, but he is outrunning this defense. Somehow, they're in the red zone now after that big run. And faking this one, an RPO, and Corey Milner, Milliner will score. Only down by seven now. It's third down and five, and Booty's got to convert this one, but out in front of Hunter Smith. So out comes that walk-on freshman kicker, and this one will be missed. Wellst had the power on it, but a little bit inaccurate. Now running the jet sweep with Davis, and he's going to get some good blocking here, but there's a flag on the field, and they're going to call it on the running back, Galloway, and that'll wipe out this big play. Now inside of the two-minute warning, Booty's got this one. He hands it off to Galloway, and they'll convert. Only one timeout remaining for UAB. But look at this. It's third down and 13. Run and play action. Booty gets hit twice, but escapes that. And now throws it on the run, almost intercepted at the line, or where he threw it. And so with 95 seconds to go, they have to punt it away. But a really good punt. They were down at the two, but flipping the fields now, they're at the three, and UAB scores. Amari Thomas gets his first score of the day, has been kind of quiet. And UAB will take this one in into overtime after being down by 21-0. Second and inches, the handoff to Galloway. He'll put him in the red zone. It's or now inside the 10, it's at the seven. First and goal, and Booty throws this one into triple coverage. He had someone over the middle. UAB just has to make a field goal now, and they will. They'll complete the comeback. I couldn't believe it. They actually won, and it's all because of a horrible read. Booty had a chance with Galloway in the middle of the field, but threw it into triple coverage. Man, that hurt to witness again. I can't believe I made that throw. But all we can do is get ready for the first conference matchup of the season. We'll open Sunbelt play against Troy. We do have more recruiting to talk about. I'm scouting some running backs and found a gem and a power back. He's got 82 trucking to pair with a nice 91 speed, so he's definitely gained my interest and gets a scally. I mentioned earlier I wanted to look for some different archetypes for wide receiver, and I found another gem, a route runner, which I like a lot, but I think he needs a red shirt potentially with 68 catching but he deserves a scally too. And last but not least, I got a defensive tackle for you, Cam Hyman from Florida. He's a run stopper with 83 tackling and 93 strength. This guy is exactly what I'm looking for, a defensive tackle with 300 pounds, able to stuff that run and eat double teams. He might be my favorite player in this class now. He of course will get a scholarship and will probably become a focused player for us. Taking a look at the conference, only two games have been played so far. Old Dominion and Southern Miss are at the top. They've started off good. And I think we are the highest rated team in the conference right now, so I like that a lot. Troy has a couple of playmakers on both sides of the ball. On offense, they have a wide receiver with 99 speed. He is also their highest rated player. Devontae Ross is going to be a problem. 
Our fastest corner is freshman Emmanuel Aconqua with 93 speed. He's played well this year and will shadow Ross most of the day. On defense, they have Eric Shaw, a four-star edge rusher. Going to try to be matching up him with our best offensive lineman, Eli Fisher. He's moved out to right tackle for this game. A lot of movement on the O-line this week, actually. I haven't been impressed through the first couple of games, so I'm going to try out some new guys. Troy is 1-2, same as us, but they've had two really close losses to Clemson and Memphis, who are both 2-1, but still I like our odds in this one. And I'm glad we're covering three games in this episode because I want to go through this season kind of quickly, but if you're enjoying this one so far, please leave a like. It helps let me know you want to see more. And now here in week four, Troy comes to Louisiana. ULM wearing their alternate uniforms, these nice gray ones. But there should be some new ones in the game. I haven't seen them so far. I hope I'll have them in this dynasty soon or at all. The winner of this game will be 1-0 in conference play, so you can assume both teams will be playing hard. Troy will start on offense. Their QB is Goose Crowder. He'll hand this one off to Damian Wilson. Or Damian Taylor, sorry. But Goose Crowder getting stuffed in the backfield on this play. He currently leads all teams in touchdown passes this season. He'll convert this third down. So now on the RPO, tries to get a quick pass to his tight end who drops it. That's Brody Dalton. Handing it off to Damian Taylor and he'll get a decent gain of six. Making this third down unmanageable. But here comes Bully pulling off the right side. I gave him the start today in that rush defensive end spot because he's been playing well in practice. I like to practice before all games just to get warmed up. And he's he plays very well in that. So I wanted to give him a start. But Davis will not get much on that return. And out comes General Booty. He's had a rough couple of games against UAB in Alabama. But now here at home, hoping to have a better time. We'll get this one complete to Destin Hill, who will get the first down, moving the chains. And now General Booty over a thousand yards this season. He'll hand this one to Galloway, who only gets a gain of two. Now five wide. Here comes Galloway in motion. He'll give it to him, and he cuts back inside. Maybe a good idea. Not much on the outside. Now getting this one out left for Dustin Hill on the bubble screen. He'll get the first down. Booty looking good so far. Now dropping back, looking underneath again for Hill. And he'll get a nice catch and run for eight. That's already his third catch today. And this one will be a first down to Galloway on the run. He is tired now. Might want to try to sub him out. Looking left side for Wiley. He played pretty well against Alabama. He'll get some reps today. But looking for Quad Harrison this time, he'll get the first down. Now at the 23, running this clock down a little bit, it seems. Getting this one to Tyler Griffin, who makes a man miss and gets the extra yards for a first down. Second down and seven for this play at the eight yard line. Looks like Booty's trying to make a couple adjustments. He'll roll out to his right, get this one to his running back, and get just a few yards. That make it a third down and three from the four. Looks like they want to run it here with Galloway. He'll get stuffed with one yard to go. They keep the offense out there. And Galloway, they hand it to him again. He will be stopped again. So turnover on downs, Goose Crowder hands this one off to Damian Taylor. He'll get a gain of five, getting them out of the shadow of their end zone. And this one almost intercepted by Esther. In and out of his hands, could have had a pick six potentially there. So third and five, they try a mid screen, it'll be stopped. So they have to punt it back to General Booty and his offense, running a screen play this time. Galloway spins off of a tackle and gains a couple of extra yards. Makes it second down and three. Bringing Galloway in motion for this jet sweep. We really like this play to pick up the first down. So on first and 10, Booty dropping back, looking over to the left side and he finds his receiver, Dustin Hill, the transfer from Florida State. He's been pretty good this season. He's the second wide receiver on this team so far. And that'll do it for the first quarter. 
UL Monroe dominated time of possession in this one. Booty scrambling to his left and throwing back right. Bit of an awkward play there, but they were in field goal position. They'll get it, so they're up three to nothing. Handing this one off to Damian Taylor, who gets stopped in the backfield. First one to hit him was the freshman. Now they'll hand it off to him again on this play. Second down and nine becomes third down and three. Short field, but they'll be passing over the middle, and he's open. Brody Dalton over the middle. Look like a busted coverage for ULM, and on first and ten, they hand it off. Taylor not getting anything going on that play. Now they'll run a screen here. Look like Rodgers was all over it. Just jumped a little bit early. Third down and 14 now. Goose under pressure. Hamlin brings him down. And that'll bring up another punting situation for Troy. Not much offense in this game. We'll hand this one off to Galloway. He gets a burst out to the right side. He escapes a man. And they're going to take another look at this one. He might have stepped out of bounds. I didn't think he did. But taking a look here, they'll call it back. They'll say he stepped out of bounds. We lose a couple of yards. It's okay, though. So we hand it off to him on the very next play. He'll get the yards back and a first down. Feed the hot hand. Now Booty's going to scramble out to his left, trying to make a playmaker happen and he'll get sacked should have thrown it away but peaks will bring him down third down and 18 now more pressure gets it away just in time and ball hits the ground so now running a fake punt this time tired of seeing the ball be kicked and curry the backup running back looked like he fell forward and they'll say he didn't mark down a yard shy so Goose Crowder and his offense are back out there. They get three on first down. Second down and seven. And ULM looked like they were out of position, trying to make some adjustments on defense. And this play will be batted at the line or maybe hit the head of a lineman. He gets swatted down. Second down and 10. They'll be swallowed up. Loss of one. Taylor's tired. They're looking left side and dropped. He heard the footsteps of the safety. Von Troy coming. So they have to punt it away. Davis will fair catch it right here. They saw what he did last game. And Galloway is going to get swallowed up after a gain of two. Look, like he had more if he could have got away from that tackle. And General Booty over the middle. Just didn't see the linebacker standing there. And this is intercepted. So Crowder comes back out on offense. Running a screen here again. Lots of screens today. But this is a good one. Picks up the first down. So running two tight ends on this play. They'll hand it off to Taylor. He's their workhorse. He's already got 40 yards today. They'll hand it off to him again on this one. He gets the first down inside the 10. He's a gas. And they'll run the read option with Crowder. He keeps it and gets stopped in the backfield. Now at the 11 for second and goal. Crowder pressured heavily at Hamlin and Rubio in his face. Looking like ULM wants to send some pressure here on this play. Goose Crowder gets it out quick to his tight end. He'll be stopped before they can get into the end zone. And ULM calls a timeout wanting to get the ball back before half. And it seems to have iced their kicker a bit because this kick is wide right. And he is a good kicker. He has good power and accuracy. And Booty is hit hard on that play. Luckily, that was intercepted. It's second down and 10. Now, running play action. And here he is. Getting the sack is Eric Shaw. And now, third and 22, just handing it off to Galloway. Troy will now use some timeouts and get the ball back to Crowder at the 28-yard line. Not a good punt. And looking left side, this was almost intercepted. Good play by Oconquo. Second and 10, Goose Crowder, good protection holding up here. And this will be caught by Brody Dalton. Showing good hands, brought down hard though. And looking for his running back, but Josh McAfee almost intercepted it. We needed that. Second and goal here, caught and 
Rock down at the one, so the clock is winding. Third and goal. Needing it right here. Goose Crowder is going to roll to his left and throw this one away. So after missing a kick not too long ago, he'll come back out. And he will miss this one too. So this score will stay three to nothing going into halftime. Heavily defensive performance today. Not many rushing yards. But I hope we can change that in the second half here. Get Bennett Galloway going, maybe even Hunter Smith. I might see our freshman QB in the read option as well. We might need to sprinkle that in a little bit in this one. And looking for a dangerous pass for Quad Harrison on third down. Booty is incomplete. We have to punt it on our first possession into the half. So there goes Taylor. He'll get a gain of five, but on this one, he stops. Rogers brings him down. It's a loss of three. Third and eight. Everything looks to be covered on this one, and Goose Crowder throws it out of bounds. So another punt, and Booty will take this one. No, this is Proctor. There he is. He comes out in this pistol formation. He'll stay out there for this play on third and four. Galloway is in the backfield. Proctor moving around in the pocket, trying to get comfortable, looking over the middle. Dangerous pass, but it was almost caught by Tyler Griffin. So yet again, another punt. And this is going to be blown up. Rodgers brings him down in the backfield, and now they're running a screen here on second and 13. Good play. Makes it third and manageable for Crowder. Third down and four. Taking a shot, and this will be broken up. Von Troy, the safety, knocking it away. Handing it off to Galloway, trying to be patient. And the O-line didn't get a good block. So it's third down and seven. Booty stepping up in the pocket. He'll pick up the first down with his legs. Second down and 10 from the 45. Dropping back and finds his man falling down. Tyler Griffin picking up his second catch of the game. Now looking underneath for Hill. Good catch and run. He's very shifty. He got pretty good speed too. Galloway gets one. He's our fastest player on offense. He'll get all the way out to the edge and pick up a first down. Almost 50 yards in this one. So here comes Hunter Smith now. And he is going to lose a lot. That's a loss of five. Galloway needed a rest. He comes back out for this second down and 15. And Booty is going to get sacked. Couldn't read where the pressure was coming from. Should have stepped up instead of out. But now dropping back. This is going to be converted with a penalty. Quad Harrison tries to get in the end zone. He threw a man down. But this is going to come back. This is one of the new linemen that's in. Gabe Godwin will get the call. Nope, that's Zach Moore, not Gabe Godwin. Sorry, Gabe. Third down and 30 now. Not very good protection either. This will be an arm punt for Booty. Couldn't have kicked a field goal from that distance. So it's first and 10. Still 3-0 winding down here in the third quarter. And here he goes. Devontae Ross and his 99 speed will get free and behind freshman Emmanuel Conquo. And he can't fault him. He's not as fast as him. He's the fastest option, though. And they finally get a touchdown, the first one today. Here comes Devontae Proctor rolling out to his left. He'll break free from the defense and get a good scramble. He has 87 speed, able to do something like that, something we haven't seen from Booty much. Looking for Davis on this one. It'll be caught for a gain, good gain. It's third down and short now. Players are hot coming into the fourth quarter now. Davis gets this one complete on the right side. He'll move the chains up to the 36-yard line. First down and 10 for General Booty. He'll hand it to Galloway. Good blocking here on this play from his tight end in the O-line. He's up to 64 yards in this one. From the 25, second down and 10. Booty's running the screen out left for Galloway. Get a good block there and makes a man miss. Good shoot. He'll be pushed out of bounds. No touchdowns today for Booty. This time he'll look for Tyler Griffin over the middle, and there it is. I didn't jinx him. He got his first one right there. 
And look at this touchdown celebration. I call this one the vanishing act. Tyler Griffin, the magician, making all of our players disappear. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be back for next drive. All right, here comes Damian Taylor on you, uh, Troy's next possession. He doesn't get anything there, and they try to run a screen for him on this one, but a host of defenders right there bring down Crowder. Loss of eight, so it's third down and 18, and this will sail on his receiver. Had him open. There's also a flag. Looks like it'll be holding on the offense, but ULM can decline this one and get them to punt it. Up by three, Booty's got possession. Running some play action. And he's got pressure. He barely gets this one away as he's hit. Making a few adjustments at the line. Got good protection this time. Got a man open downfield. That's Davis. Good throw and catch. And also a good route. Davis is one of our better route runners. But on this play, Galloway is fighting as hard as he can for a loss there. Loss of one, second down and 11. Booty drifting back really far. It's going to be third down and 24. This might be out of our kicker's range. I don't think Welsh can make it from here. Pressure coming off that left side, and it's hot. But he'll get this one complete to Galloway. Throw on the run for Booty. He sensed that pressure and made this kick a lot easier for Welsh. And his kick is up and good. So... Now back on offense is Crowder. He'll hand this one to Wilson, who gets a good head of steam. He's not the fastest running back by any means, but he had a good run on that one. He got another one on this play. Forward progress will give him a first down. Up over at 80 yards now. This will be a screen out left for the 99 speed man, but he'll be brought down, thankfully, after a gain of six. Not much more you can ask for. This one's complete on the right side. Good catch right there. And this play will be stopped after a gain of three. Crowder making a couple of adjustments. Look like ULM tried to fake the blitz and they do not care. Wilson gets the first down. That's first to goal from the six now. Crowder's gonna keep this one on the option. He'll score with his legs. Their second touchdown of the game, and they will take the lead with their extra points. It is 14 to 13 now. A lot more of an exciting second half. And now this will be complete out underneath for Harrison. He throws a man down as he goes out of bounds. That man is powerful. Now looking right side for Davis. He'll speed out to the right, trying to get out of bounds, trying to preserve as much time as possible. Now for Galloway, he'll get a nice gain of eight. Showing some wear and tear in this one, staying out there though. He'll get this one, and it'll be another first down. Move the chains at the 30 yard line now. We are pretty much getting there in field goal range. About two or three more yards would be nice, but we lose two on first down. It's second down and 12. Booty. Good protection. It holds up, but this one will be dropped for Tyler Griffin. Now running their money play from earlier, and he'll be opening on this one. That's Galloway moving the chains. Now Troy has to decide if they want to start using some timeouts. In field goal range, they hand it off to Hunter Smith, getting a gain of seven on that one. He'll stay out there for this play. Galloway a bit banged up. So now they've used two timeouts. It's third down and four. No Galloway. It's Hunter Smith. He could have cut up inside, but went outside and put us outside the hash. That might make this kick a little bit more difficult for the walk-on freshman Welsh. This kick is up and good. No drama there. Ice in his veins. Now, less than a minute to go. Crowder looking underneath on first down, speeding up for a gain of six. The clock is winding, and they'll have to spike it here. It's third down and four, 44 seconds to go. Down by two. He's getting pressure, heavy pressure from Hamlin. He'll bring him down. ULM one stop away from getting their meeting their win total from last season, and they will. ULM swarms him right there. And General Booty can knee this one out. 
ULM wins their second game, tying their win total from last year with much of this season to go. This was a defensive showdown, but ultimately ULM was able to muscle this one out. Booty was shaky at times, but not terrible. Galloway had 75 on the ground, but also active in the receiving game. Tyler Griffin caught the only touchdown for us, but he hasn't been as involved as I'd like. Destin Hill gets better routes and matchups than him. And on defense, Hamlin led us in TFLs and sacks. Pullen had two TFLs in a sack. We'll see him play edge a bit more from here on out. And I got one more final look at recruiting for y'all. I got a tackle with 80 pass block, and he's a three-star gem. A really solid pass blocker, but not very strong. He might be really good in his redshirt junior season, so he gets a scholarship. Next episode's going to be on the road versus the Raging Cajuns, and then we'll face South Alabama in that second game. One of them will be highlights and the other will be a full game. I really like that format. Let me know what y'all think down below. And here's a look at season stats. Booty's not looked too hot statistically. Eight touchdowns, seven interceptions. Galloway's got two touchdowns, 330 yards. He's averaging 4.3 a carry, which I'm happy with. But I kind of want to see a few more touches for him going forward. I think we pass a little bit too much. But he's also been very involved in the passing game. On defense, Hamlin leads us with five and a half sacks. He has six TFLs as well. Haven't seen any interceptions outside of that first game against Akron. Hopefully that changes in the next one. But guys, I have another series on College Football 25 with a team that I created through Team Builder. I'm going to be releasing more episodes of that here in the future. So if you're interested in that, go check it out by clicking this video right here.